Today we're going to discuss certain noise issues on specific Toyota applications. Anyone that's done diagnosis knows that uh, dealing with noises is not always simple, especially if you have an engine, transmission, transfer case, and front and rear differential. Certain models of Toyota, uh, specifically the RAV4, has had an issue with their rear differential. The bearing can actually uh, start making noise, and when you're driving down the road, it could be hard to detect. Uh, it's such a problem that Toyota has come out with an upgrade uh, to deal with this. The rear differential is actually a unique setup because it not only has the differential components, but it also has a viscous coupling, and depending on model, um, that viscous coupling could contain a, an electromagnet uh, coupler. And what I have here is actually a viscous assembly out of a Sienna van. So uh, whether you're working on a RAV4, which is the subject of the uh, TSB that Toyota has released, uh, which you'll see on the screen, uh, or a Sienna van, uh, the layouts are going to be somewhat different, but the bearing that fails is going to be the same. Uh, on the RAV4, the electromagnetic coupler is actually part of the differential, remains with the differential, whereas on the Sienna van, the electromagnetic coupler stays with the viscous coupling. Now, for purposes of uh, this video, I've actually pressed this apart, but it's not too bad to do. And as I said, the TSB that Toyota has released is a 20-page in-depth uh, instruction showing part numbers, photos, and how to do things. Uh, basically, you just have a snap ring that holds the uh, electrocoupler to the viscous coupling. And as I say, on the Sienna, uh, you have the situation of dealing with this coupler. The wires actually go through the cover and has a, an external connector. And instead of pulling the pins out of the connector and pulling the wires out, you can literally take this coupler and move it to the side while you're addressing the bearing issue. And as you can see, this is where the uh, electromagnetic part of this goes down into the viscous coupling. I'm going to pull this out of the way, though, just to uh, uh, make it easy for illustration purposes. This part, this is actually the viscous coupling, and it's got this large bearing on the end. And again, all this is pressed together, and your housing. There's also a deflector that sets on top to just to, to deflect the elements, you know, rain, water, and so on. Well, when you press this apart, this large bearing will fail because, you know, the elements, moisture and everything, will get in and um, cause it to uh, fail after a period of time. This viscous coupling, there's a, actually a couple of different designs depending on model, and you need to test this. You can actually put a spline down inside, hold the unit, and turn this to make sure that you have drag so that you know that there's viscous oil in here and that uh, you don't have to replace this. You can buy this viscous separately. All the part numbers are in the TSB that Toyota has uh, released. As I mentioned, this electromagnetic part on RAV4 is bolted into the differential so you don't have to mess with it like on the Sienna van. The replacement bearing is similar to this, it's got an O-ring around it, but when this presses down into the cover and into the viscous unit, The replacement actually has a seal that sets on top that presses into the cover. 
and then you have a different type of deflector that goes on top of it. So it's actually sealing the bearing itself to try to eliminate what's causing the bearing to fail. So if you get a Toyota in, uh, all-wheel drive, RAV4, Sienna van, and so on, and you get a bearing noise, it very well could be this differential. It's not a big deal to do. Toyota did a real nice job on the information. And as I said, all the part numbers are there and uh, you shouldn't have any issue regardless of the model.